they have borrowed a lot of money. Now, empires do a very, very repetitive thing. When they go from regionalization to expansion to empire, they borrow money like buggery. They borrow it as much as they can, whenever they can, from themselves. They effectively print money to expand. And then when they build themselves into a monopoly phase, they turn around and they pay it all back. So there's a period at the peak of the system when it doesn't have any debt. But then when the challenge happens, as in America's case, they start to borrow again, not only from themselves, but everyone else. And that's when you get this huge debt spike. And Britain had a massive debt spike as it lost its empire. And we were able to pass our baton to America. So we stopped borrowing as we lost our empire. And then it returns to a more normal phase. So when you make the comparisons of debt in America and China, Chinese debt is like Japanese debt. It's basic debt. It's basically internal. It's under central monetary control. It will not threaten them. What threatens them is the ability to export their manufacturing base to a world that's in a global depression or recession as we are now. That threatens them because their consumer gap is such that they can't fill it with their internal consumers. The gap has been narrowing, but it's still a gap. And that's the gap that Trump has seen in executing the trade war tariff to limit their economy. So he's hurting them on purpose to hold them back. American debt is completely different. It's borrowed 70, 80% from itself. The Chinese have up to 18% of it. And there is the margin. And I think as this friction builds, trade war will in all likelihood become a debt war. Now, whether it's the Chinese that try and trigger it and push the dollar down, or whether Trump just turns around and says, I'm restructuring your 18% and he's lowering his debt burden, it could come from either side. But I do think that sovereign debt in the Western world at a time when we will never repay, we're barely paying the interest, some kind of debt holiday restructuring is part of the agenda to revitalize the Western systems. And I think it's, it's really, risk is quite high as we move into the next three years. Do you think that's realistic? I mean, would the US ever sort of restructure? Wouldn't that make them a prior state? Well, they might. But, you know, if you restructured your debt and you said, I'm going to make it 200 years and zero interest, your interest payments disappear and you can revitalize your economy. And if you're faced with a global depression and you've tried everything else and the monetary system doesn't do it anymore because the drugs have run out in their efficacy from the Fed, that would be the only thing you could do. And I think we are facing in you know, the sort of a time when they're squeezing blood out of a stone in the US economy and the levers will stop working as they have done in Europe. Okay. Will we talk about the state?